Hi, this tutorial shows you the information that you can get from the screen in MeshLab. They are very simple information, but uh, they can be useful uh, when you apply any kind of filter. So, there are a few data which are always available on the screen when you load the model. And uh, starting from here, you have the field of view that you can change. So, you have a, a feedback about the, the value of the field of view. And you have also the, some information about uh, the frame per second, so uh, how much the, the, the model is uh, um, difficult to handle by your hardware. So the lower the frame per second, the, the worse the, the navigation will be. And uh, please notice that you have a different frame per second if you, if you change the rendering mode. So if sometimes if you switch from the uh, smooth surface rendering to the point cloud, uh, you usually improve a lot uh, the value of frame per second so that the navigation becomes easier. Then there are other data that are always available and essentially they are the number of vertices and the number of faces of the model. Please just note that if I load another model you have here uh, the number of vertices of the model which is selected at the moment so the one that you see here in the layer dialog uh, with the, the yellow area and uh, between brackets you see the total number of vertices and faces so you see now that the texture knot note has uh, around 3000 faces and the total number of faces is 52,000 if I select the Laurana model you see here that the number of faces of Laurana is nearly 50,000 and again you, have, you still have the, the, the data about the total number of vertices and faces other information that you have uh, for example if you select an area using the select area tool but any kind of a select filter you have a feedback here about the number of vertices or faces that you selected this can help you quite a lot especially when uh, using kinds of filter where you select very small areas like small uh, connected components you don't know if you selected uh, something or not and this uh, part of text here tells you if you selected something and there is also another visual feedback that you get in this part of the layer dialog which gives you a feedback about the uh, the work of uh, um, the filter so sometimes you get uh, important feedback about the filters that are applied uh, on the model and uh, another important thing here is that here you have a, a list of uh, Mm, of the attributes of the of the current model so for example you see here that this model uh, it has also the color per vertex as an attribute but for example if I apply a simple filter like the discrete curvatures you see that after the application of this filter there are additional attributes that have been created and uh, they should be listed here and uh, you also have a feedback about the, the actions which were made by this filter on this part of the layer dialog so you see here that after applying this filter uh, besides the color per vertex you have also the, the quality value and the flag which have been added as attributes of the, of the model and you also have you see the feedback about what was done by the, the, the filter so we have a pre-curvature cleaning where it removed uh, some reference vertices and you have also the feedback about the curvature range for example so these are the basic data that you can get just having a look at the interface of MeshLab and most of this uh, data are extremely important to try to understand for example which kind of filters that you can apply on the model or not and uh, also try to keep track about the, the, the possibility to load more data and how, how it would be possible to navigate them uh, in a nice way and so on. So thanks a lot for your attention.